Hello, it's Vika. In this video, I'm going to make some custom stickers for my journal. And to do that, I'm going to use all the things on this list, plus Adobe Photoshop. Let's get started. Before I can get to the drawing and designing part, I need to decide what to include in the sticker sheet first. So I try to think about the things that I want to draw attention to in my journal. Stuff like to-do lists and important events throughout the week or months. And of course, some random cute things. And even some motivational phrases. I basically list anything and everything that I can think of, knowing that I can always narrow it down later. Here comes the fun part. I know I listed a lot, so I try to remind myself that just because I draw most of them doesn't mean that they'll end up on the final sticker sheet. It kind of just helps to see the idea fleshed out, you know? Then I can decide which ones I like most from there. So here I am drawing stars, cookies, cake, the important stuff. I honestly struggled a little bit coming up with corresponding doodles for the different months, just because I'm not super familiar with all the seasons and holidays that happen throughout the year, and when they happen in the year. But it was still really fun figuring it out and doing it. Next, I take a picture of the sketch using my iPad and I open it up on Procreate. The paper that I'll be using later is 8.5 by 11 inches, so the size of the canvas is 4 by 5, basically a fourth of the size of my paper, so that I can make four sets of sticker sheets in one sheet of paper. <laughs> That's a lot of sheet and paper talk, but I hope that made sense. I lower the opacity so it can serve as a guide, and then I make a brand new layer where I can actually draw the final version. Get ready for hyperspeed. So I'm pretty used to Photoshop where I can make as many layers as I want. But in Procreate, there's actually a limit to the number of layers you can make depending on the document. So when I was drawing, I tried to group everything according to color. So I have a separate layer for the yellows, and then the reds, blues, pinks, so on. Just to kind of give me some semblance of organization. Honestly though, I did end up going rogue at some point. But at least I didn't end up with 20-something layers. Which, let's face it, is probably what would have happened if I stuck to Photoshop for this. Yes, I confess, I am a notoriously messy layerer. That is a word and I am sticking to it. Get it? Sticking? Cause, okay. <laughs> so I know that I said that you don't need to refine every single thing you sketched, but here I am, cramming every little thing into the page. There was so much to draw that I ended up needing a second canvas to fit all the doodles. You're gonna see that in a little bit. Here we go, canvas number two. And of course, I started it with a drawing of Johnny. Okay, back to work. <laughs> Finally done with canvas number two, and I came to my senses and started narrowing everything down. I deleted some of the stuff, and I'm doing my layout. Just trying to cram everything into one sheet. Here's a tip. 
always make sure that there's enough space around each element so you can draw your outlines. I most definitely could have spaced things out more, but what can I say? I got greedy, and I just wanted more cute things in one sheet. Oops. And we're done. At least for this part. <laughs> now I just have to fill in the background with the same outline color. Ta-da! We have our sticker sheet design. Now I import the image to Photoshop and I duplicated it so I can fit four of them in one letter-sized sheet of paper. I'm going to put vertical and horizontal lines as a guide, so I know where to cut later. Then I place the registration marks on the corners. And then I save that image so I can start printing. Here they are, my sticker babies. Next, I upload the final image to Cricut Design Space. And just to be safe, I did edit out the background. Then, I saved it all as a cut image. Very important. I imported the image onto the canvas. Make sure that it's positioned at zero for both X and Y axes. Axes? Hmm. Since I'm doing Kiss Cut stickers for this set, I'm going to select washi tape as the material. I just found that it works better for the paper that I'm using. And it's time to cut. I place the sheet onto my cutting mat that I've customized to trick my Cricut into cutting a full page of designs. I'll leave a link below to the tutorial that helped me with this trick. Please note, this is not how fast a Cricut actually cuts. But here's the actual speed. I think it took about four or maybe five minutes in all. Which isn't bad, to be fair, considering how many elements there were to cut. Go, Cricket, go! And... finally. The last step is to cut them into individual sheets using the guide I made earlier. And that is how I make my stickers. I know everyone has a different process and uses different materials. This is just what works for me. Here I am, testing them out on my journal. And I personally think they look pretty cute. Last but not the least, some tea. There's never a bad time for tea. If you guys have any questions about what I did, 
feel free to leave a comment below, or you can come say hi on social. Thanks for watching!